Okay, going to record a quick video here going over a suggestion I have for the Wilson devs. So uh, right now I have two points placed in the second ring and they're in the middle. They're like equidistant from uh, the outer ring and the inner ring kind of in like a, a diameter uh, location or whatever. So they're about as far away from each other as you can possibly get. And so now I'm just going to demonstrate here. Uh, basically there's uh, right now two ways to connect these. You could go through the inner ring and connect them going this way to each other. Or you could go uh, around the outer ring and connect them that way to each other. And currently right now, uh, the difference between these is very negligible. And it's actually almost always much, 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 much better and more efficient to route around the outer ring. Uh, not only are these nodes a little bit stronger, but they give you access to like the super, super strong build defining tier 3 ring nodes. Because you're already getting all these points right here, and then you're just a few points away from getting these like powerful powerful nodes or whatever. So if we just count the number of points it takes, uh, there's two different ways that you can route around the inside. There's one way that has two of these long connections here, and then there's one way that has just the, the single connection. So if I put these points in right now, uh, you can see we started off with like two points or whatever. So here we're adding one, two, three, four, and now we can add five, six, seven, eight, nine. And so that's uh, one way to path around the inner circle. Or we add 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So this way is much less efficient, but you know, you might have already some points over here. And so uh, basically these two ways end up becoming almost equal uh, if you have some other points already, like this point, for example, if you pathed in from, from the center on the melee area. But if I go around the outside, so this way was 9, right, uh, on the double long path. And this way, if I go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So it's only one more point, but you can see I get access to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 outer uh, build-defining like traits, which is literally half of them for spending one extra point. Whereas in here, these nodes are like 8% damage, it's like 8% health, 12% this tiny thing, 10% there. It's like all these very small... Uh, increases, and especially because they're all additive with each other, that they can't compare to getting access to spending like three more points and getting like these build defining uh, traits or whatever on the outer ring. So my suggestion is basically uh, to more equalize the two routes that you can go through, and also just make the inner ring a bit more efficient so that like to me it makes more logical common sense or whatever that cutting through the middle is probably better than going all the way around the outside but currently that's not really true especially because of the strength of the outside nodes so it would make more sense to me if uh instead of connecting to here that these nodes on these long paths right now connected to this node instead of these nodes uh or just had an additional connection so then you would spend one two three four five six seven eight points going around that way or one, two, three, four, five, six, seven points going this way. And so that just makes it slightly more point efficient so that you uh, can maybe reach the other side of the tree a little bit easier. And right now, uh, for example, this is a, a build I have planned out or whatever. You can see it's just way more efficient for me to get to the outer ring as fast as possible uh, in pretty much a direct like path to it or whatever. And then just to path around the outside for all the stuff that I need. Um, there's also some stuff like here, for example, where's a good example? Here you have these nodes where these outer ring, like this gives me access to the white arrow uh, ring, whereas I could also path and do this same thing. And then if I had a connection over here, you know, and this was all still connected, that it's obviously still better. 18% all resist compared to like some of these other nodes are is way out of whack. What's a better example here? Um... Can't really see a good example in this tree. But uh, for example, it's almost always better instead of pathing through the lower end to get to these side nodes, it's almost always better to path around the top side and then to connect like this, for example, uh, around the edges rather than connecting down here. Um, I mean, it depends if you need some of these nodes or whatever. You obviously still get the bottom part. But anyway, just a suggestion I had to make the tree diversity a bit better uh, and it would open up some other builds just to have a little bit more points to play with uh, in order to get things that are on far sides of the tree and open up a lot of build creativity that way. Uh, whereas right now, you're pretty much always going to take almost one half or two thirds of the nodes on the tree.
on the outer ring, or you'll have access to them at least. And it isn't too uh, inefficient to go the other few points or whatever around the outside just to get access to these other ones. But it would be a lot easier and better, I think. Because uh, you can see right now, I don't have access to like the Warlock area at all. I barely have access to the Praetorian um, and things like that. That it would be a little bit better if, and the none in the Sentinel, if uh, you path through the middle, that it would give you access to a bit more more stuff for just less points. That would be my suggestion. Thank you.